I would like to start this video by asking the people who keep edging to my videos to please stop, okay? Whenever I see those comments, I start shaking, tweaking out, and crying all at the same time. What is collection service? Why would why do we want to use it? And I guess, yeah, I was, I was trying to think of more questions to sound smart, but it's a very simple service, which I feel like once you kind of know what it does, is going to be a good tool to use in your arsenal. So the very first thing I must let you in on before explaining what collection service does is the concept of tags, okay? So every single item in the Explorer, like literally every single one, the workspace, uh, the, the camera, the terrain, parts, spawn locations, player service, like anything. All of these have a property called tags, okay? In short, it's like putting on a sticker with a name, right? So for example, if I wanted to, I could give the spawn location a tag. There's a tag already called rig edit. So this tag comes by default with every Roblox game. But then like, if I wanted to make my own, I could just make a tag called like, hello. And then if I were to create this tag, then it would just have a tag named hello. And so then via script, I could check uh, whether the spawn location has a tag called hello. And then if it does, you know, then I could, I could, you know, do whatever I need to. I could also add tags or remove tags via script. Now collection service basically like gives you a lot more control. Well, not a lot more, but it does give you like more control over tags, which will allow you to just sort and find stuff a lot easier. And yeah, so a, a tag can be named anything, right? So for example, if I had like a part that was meant to be like a gun or like a weapon, then I could just have a, I could just add a tag inside this part that just says weapon, right? And if, if I needed to check whether something was supposed to be like a weapon or not, I could just check if it has a tag named weapon, right? That's kind of the idea. So tags are meant to be like pieces of text on the, on like whatever item that you're adding them to that kind of tell you more about what that item is, okay? And then you can use those tags to then via script check if an item has this tag. And then if it does, then you, you know, script how you would if the item has whatever tag you're checking for. So let's talk about collection service. And the way you get collection service is you just go to server script service and you add a script, okay? What I'll do is I'll just make a variable called CS, uh, just so we, we don't have to keep on typing collection service every time. Local CS is equal to game dot collection service, like so. So what can we actually do with collection service? So first let's check the events that collection service gives us. Okay, so we have tag added. So this fires when a tag is added to an object. And then we have one for tag removed. Now, at first I thought that this was for every single item, but apparently not. Like <laughs> it, it did weird me out because you know, you, oh, okay, let me, let me just remove the dot. For example, if I do workspace dot spawn location, it doesn't have the tag thing. Right, so there's no way for me to check when a tag was actually added or removed. Now I could check for um, if it has a tag, right? I could get its tags and you know, here I could add the tag and then you know, I could remove, but it's like, I, I cannot check when a tag is added, right? So collection service lets you tell when a tag is added or removed, okay? And then I believe when you connect it, it gives you the, it, it gives you the name of the tag that was added. And, and, and um, like, I'll, I'll show you use cases for this, like, soon. I just want to get through, like, all of the, all of the things that you can do with collection service and then show you, like, actual examples of them. Because, bro, look, I've been seeing videos, okay? And then people are like, oh, Biteblock sucks. His content is lazy. Like, bro, you think, you think I don't know that, bro? Like, bro, I'm, I'm in high school, bro, okay? Cut me some slack, okay? I made this channel to test my mic, initially you know you know what i mean uh but like i get i get those people okay so i i will you know try make good content so cs and what functions do we have okay yeah so we have the basic wait for child get children so you know everything has this but then the unique functions get tags you are able to get tags um like w with an instance usually but then what get tags does here yeah so basically you can get you can actually like you can do get tags and then you can input an item and then it basically gives you um, a list of all of the tags that are on the item. And it's gonna return a table of like strings and hashtag um, actually works the same. So you give it the instance and then you tell it what tag, right? So you check whether an instance has a certain tag. Then you have get tagged. So this will return an, a list of items that have a certain tag. Okay, so this, this makes sense, right? So uh, CS, you know, uh, colon get tagged. And then let's say, we want to get the items that have the tag weapon, okay? Like I showed, like I told you before, it's going to return a list of every single object that has a tag called like uh, called weapon. Then we have get all tags. Get all tags just gives you every single type of tag. If two items have this like a tag with the same name, that's considered one tag, okay? So for example, if I have two parts that have the tag weapon 
and then I use this, then I will only get one tag named weapon. I'm not going to get two tags named weapon. Okay. That's because in Roblox, when you make a tag with a certain name, it just, it just stays right. So, so like you can't make a new one with the same name. Okay. Because Roblox considers every tag is unique. So you can't actually have two tags with the same name. I'll show you all of this in practice. So then we have add tag where you can add a tag to, you know, a, a, a thing. You can remove a tag, you know, from an instance. Yeah. So that's every unique um, function of collection service. Okay. So as I told you before, let me actually show you how this works. Okay. I will, what I'll do is I will add, I'll add a ball and then I'll add a cylinder. Okay. And then I, I will literally name this ball and then I will name the cylinder like so. What can we do, right? What if I wanted to add a tag to this part, which I'll, I'll call block. Okay. What if I wanted to add a, um, a tag to this item called, I don't know, part. Okay. Well, what I could do is I could say CS add tag. Then it's going to ask for the instance, which will be, you know, workspace.block. And then the tag, which is going to be a string, which I'll call part. Okay. So then if I play this game, or actually I guess, I guess running the game would be better. Um, yeah, then this block will now have the tag called part. So this, the cylinder, if my game loads, yeah, so the cylinder doesn't have a tag named part, uh, and neither does the ball. Now you do not need collection service to add tags. So you are just able to do workspace.block um, add tag. So, so you are able to do this. I'm just, I'm just kind of showing you this as, as an example, right? And then there was another thing called like, like a uh, tag added, right? So this will fire whenever a tag is added. So for example, and it gives us the name of the tag, name of tag. Like, so, so, so if I add this thing and then I, I make it print the name of tag. And then right after that, I use collection service to add a tag to, you know, the workspace dot uh, block. And then I add the tag name part and then I'll run the game in case you don't know, running the game will just like, it, it's going to do everything the same, but my character just isn't going to spawn in which will just make things run like a little faster, right? Yep, there we go. So it adds the part. And then uh, Roblox by default uses something called rig edit. Like it, Roblox has a tag named rig edit, which do I know what it does? Not really. But yeah, as you can see, when the game loads, I add a tag named part and then this runs. And then, you know, since the tag is added, it prints out the name of the tag. That's pretty cool. So now, okay, we know how to, and you know, you probably like understand that remove tag works in the exact same way. What I'll do, is I'll select all of these and then I will add a tag named part like so. So all of them now will have the tagged part and then I will add unique tags. To them. So this block is now going to have a tag called block. Okay. This ball is going to have the tag. And as you may notice, uh, now that we met like, like the tags we just added, they're showing up as options, right? Because now they're considered as like unique tags of Roblox ball. Um, but th this hopefully does make sense when you make a tag it just it stays as a tag and then you can like have that tag on a lot of other items, right? So all, all three have the tag part, right? But then, and then they have their own unique tags. So block has block, ball has ball, cylinder has cylinder, and they all share one tag. So if I wanted to, I could say CS get tagged, right? And this will return me a list of all of the objects that have a certain tag. So for example, part. Okay. So this will re return me all of the objects that have the tag named part. And so we don't actually see it, right? So I, I should print it. There we go. So we're going to print out the list and yeah. So if I just open that, yeah, cylinder ball block, because all of them have the tag named part. What, what else do we have? We have get tags. So this, I believe, yeah. So this will return all of the tags that are on a certain object. So for example, workspace dot cylinder, what this will do is this will return all of the tags that are on cylinder, which are cylinder and part. So this is going to return a table that says cylinder or yeah, part and cylinder. And the very last feature, which I want to show you is get all tags. This will give you every single tag that you have created. When I say you, like you have created, let me show you what I mean. So it gives me ball, block, cylinder, and part. So all of these tags I've created, notice how it doesn't give you the rig edit, right? Because we didn't make that. So like tags that Roblox makes, which as of um, Mar <laughs> March 4th, uh, 2024, Roblox only has one tag built in, right? But in the future, they might have more tags, right? So how collection service works, how this function works specifically is that it only gets the tags that you have made yourself, okay? Which is why we don't see um, rig edit over here because we didn't make it use tags to organize stuff, you know, use tags to, 
just make life easier for you. So again, go buy my course now. And yeah, so we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.